Okay, this video is different than my auto repair videos uh, because this is for your home air conditioning. Uh, I'll tell you what happened, what I did, and what this is in my hand. So what happened was my air conditioner would, uh, the breaker would trip, which I'd never done before. So after I did it once, I reset it, did it twice, um, reset it of course, and then I noticed the air in the house was starting to get warmer. So I came outside, um, the fan was not spinning and it was making a, a loud noise, the unusual, an unusual noise. I didn't record that, but if you heard it, you would know that there's something wrong. And then if I put my hand just sort of near the unit, um, I could feel heat coming off of it. And again, the fan wasn't moving, so just heat coming off of it. Um, and what it is, uh, is this capacitor. Um, and they come in different shapes and sizes, and they're generally all, sometimes they're longer. But anyway, um, what a capacitor does is it holds the electricity and then sends it to the motors when it kicks off. And as you can see, mine is leaking. So um, when I saw the leak, I figured it must be that. At least this didn't look right and you know, figured out that was the only problem. Um, so when I saw it was leaking, I knew that that had to be one problem. Another problem that could occur is the top could bulge up. Um, so you know, a couple problems that you could see is this bulging, um, or a leak, and mine wasn't leaking this bad. This leaked worse after I took it out. When, I, when it was first leaking, it was just just some of that orange sticky oil stuff just around the edge. So it looks worse now than it did when I took it out. Um, this part was uh, forty-five dollars on Amazon, and it's a uh, Amrad USA made. I wanted to make sure I get the exact same one that I got. So my partner. Part number right there is USA 2237 so I made sure to get that um, so now what I'll do is take to the air conditioner and show you where it is also uh, before you take it off on your own system I would take a picture of it to make sure you know where the wires go in my case I had a red wire that went to the black post um, I had an orange wire that went to the white post and then I don't know what color the other line was kind of a dirty orange but it went to the green um, now my new part when I bought it even though same part number same manufacturer everything it actually had another post had an orange post um, that I didn't use I just put the red to the black the orange to the white and that sort of mystery color to the green and the orange post on my new one is just sitting there empty so I'll take you over to it now Okay, an important safety tip before you do anything is to uh, open this power box that you should have and there's this breaker sort of on the outside where it says you know on and off um, what you want to do is grab here it's a little thing to grab it's been in there while you have to use pliers sort of just pull this thing out and it'll just come out that way it shuts off all the power to the unit you don't have to worry about getting electrocuted um, so just take that out it's got four prongs on it and then just set it aside until you're all done then make sure you obviously put it back in the right side up what some people do is put it back in in the off position um, but you don't have to do that just take it out put it down on the ground put it somewhere um, put it on top of the box and then when you're all done put it back in and then test it out so that's an important safety i just have i have two of them that's why there's two units anyway so i'll show you what to do next Okay, so here's where the power comes in to the unit. So there's probably a panel right in front of that. Take that off. And then you have uh, power coming in over here. Uh, sometimes the uh, capacitor might be right here, but in my case, it's behind this metal plate here. So just take off the one hand. And then my capacitor is right up in there. Um, so before you do it, uh, before you take the thing off, obviously you have that power out that I talked about up there. And then take a screwdriver with rubber handle and touch the terminals in there. That way it'll get out any charge that may or may be left in there. Um, just touch them and sort of you know, touch two at a time, arc them around, 
um, just to get any charge out of there. So again, yours might be here, might be down here. Um, and then also when I had, um, I took everything off, I took the lid off and just to sort of clean it out, I took a hose from the inside and, and shot water out. So it was coming out this way, cleaning the fins and so forth. Um, just to add a little bonus you can do while you're in there, just, you know, put your hand on the inside from the top, this off, and you're gonna be shooting water out from every direction to clean these off. So hopefully that helps. Um, so again, if you see liquid coming off of there, uh, that's probably what it is, or if there's a sort of mushroom topped, um, you know, on the capacitor, that's probably it as well. Um, hopefully this saves you some time and some money, and um, that's it. Thanks.